Hey everybody and welcome back to another Tuesday tip-ish type video. I doubt anyone will ever do this, but I have something that I'm really stoked to show you guys with my brakes. So let's just get straight to the part of this that I think you guys are going to care about. These are my Kink Desist brakes. The Kink Desist brake is made of seven series aluminum. And as you can see here, I have a completely custom setup here for connecting my lower gyro cables to the brake arms themselves. Normally with the Kink Desist brake, it uses two of these pieces right here that slot down through a hole in the brake arm and rotate. Then the end of your cable goes in here. And this is how your brakes are pulled, one on each side. If you have a dual lower gyro, gyro cable setup there's different pieces like this that you can get I'll show them on the screen right now they actually have a screw that goes in there that serves as a set screw for your cable and those work all right but I love my custom cable setup that I have figured out here with this loop and if you're interested in seeing more about this specifically and how I have it set up there's a video in the info card right here that shows this setup as well as how I had it set up before this so you can get an idea of how much better I actually think this probably is than my old setup even was. But with that, I was setting these brakes up in a live stream on YouTube and I was going to use this, but Kurt Rowell actually suggested in the live chat that I should just put a bolt through the hole in the brake arm and that's when the light bulb went off and I realized the brake mount bolt from my old brakes is tapered at the top and if I put it in there and put a nut on the bottom of it, there's going to be this tapered part that will probably help keep my cable loop in there and lock it in. And that is exactly what it does. It's so perfectly locked in here and it's like almost like it was made for that. The length of the bolt was perfect as well. And with that, I feel like this setup is almost better than anything I could have done because I can probably even do this with one hand here. Look at this. This loop just pops off of the bolt no different than the cable end would come out of this piece right here. And it's actually easier than if the other piece was in there for the dual lower gyro cable, because to take that out, you'd have to rotate it somehow and then pop it out or loosen the screw and take your cable out. But instead, I just have this loop that goes around the bolt. I haven't done this one-handed before or through a camera, so I don't know how well it's gonna go, but look how easy that was. Super simple. And this setup ultimately allows me to take out any flex. The only flex that exists is if there's any in here whenever it's straightening out, which I can't feel at all. I'll pull the brakes for you and you'll be able to see. There's no flex in my cables. Any flex that exists is in the brake pads because the brake arms themselves aren't flexing that much. 7 Series Aluminum can help with that. But I just feel like this setup is so awesome. I know no one is going to do it, but if anyone out there is interested in this and interested in an easier way to run kink desist brakes with a dual lower gyro cable, maybe not necessarily an easier way because this probably takes longer to set up than the setup that they have that they make proprietary. But with that, I think this setup will last longer. You can use thicker cables and you can also make these up yourself anytime you don't have to buy them. You can just use the cable inner. And also with that, you're not pinching the cable inner. With that piece that has a screw in it, you're screwing directly into the cable inner. And that I found in my experience riding BMX with brakes, my entire existence in riding is where brake cables fail the most. So this is where this setup came from initially because I wanted to eliminate that pinch point of the screw going into the cable inner. That is exactly what this does. So hopefully this can help some people out. And since we're here, I'll just run through my whole brake setup just so you guys can see. And if you're interested in anything else, I will have info cards and I'll point them out. So with that, that is my custom lower gyro cable setup. The rest of it's pretty simple. I do have a setup here where I used some brake pad spacers with the rounded part on them to angle my London mod as more of a straight shot to my brakes. Very interesting here. I also just remembered something I should point out. It's pretty obvious, but I pointed out anyways, that I have the end of the bolts on opposite sides of the brake arms just so they can be more level. Obviously, if one was down here and one was up here, they would be way off and it would probably pull very strange. So moving forward some more, I've got V-brake noodles. These are very common for gyro users. Nothing crazy there, but I feel like they do help. They do make a more solid brake pull, I feel, 
Then we get to my gyro. Also, not too much special here other than it's the original Odyssey GTX-R gyro with the screws in it. And then you can see, if you look a little bit closer, you may have noticed already, I have no ends on my cables. That is because my upper cable setup is a single cable inner, which you can't really see right now. I tried, sorry, you can't see it, but it's a single cable inner that goes from here, comes up through, loops around in the brake cable lever, comes back down to the other side and screws in. And I have a video about that that I'll put in the info card. I also have a custom cable setup to use the Odyssey mono lever with an upper gyro cable that works pretty well for me. And with this completely custom brake setup that I've developed over the course of years now, the name of the game was longevity. I wanted cables and brakes to last as long as they possibly could without breaking. And I feel that I've achieved this the best that I possibly can with what I have now. So hopefully you guys found this interesting at the very least. I don't expect anyone to do this with their kink desist brakes, but maybe there's somebody out there who might want to. I know there's a few guys who've actually used my upper cable setup with some success. So on that note, I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions about any of this, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want any more info on any of the things with my cable setup that I didn't talk in depth about there are videos in the description down below they talk completely in depth and show how I actually did it so with that thank you guys for watching leave a comment let me know what you think and hopefully while you're down there if you haven't yet or you're new you'll hit the subscribe button so that we can see you tomorrow for another video thank you for watching again goodbye